holiday home, I think, for about 30, 30 odd years. Okay. It's warm in here, isn't it? Hmm? It's warm in here. Mm. What's in there? Bed. Eh? Hey? Bed. Night. Night. Kitchen. These windows open. This is very small thing, isn't it? Very small single bed. There's a double bed in this one. Ah, okay. Don't drive. No, it's just the doors. Up, you've just gone to. Um, I just see a little lady brushing her hair. <laughs> you know, when you have the old Victorian, they used to have like a big brush, um, you know, like with mother and pearl. Okay. You know, like the white headed brush yeah. with the mother and pearl handle. Then she's got a really nice um, little mirror with mother and pearl over it, silver. Do you think she's connected to the coach, or do you think it's, it's the... No, it's um, this. It's that. Okay. It's definitely this. Yeah, like that. Oh, it's quite a strong energy. Mm. So it's like one of her favourite bits of furniture or something. Something she like doing every day. No, she used to sit down and brush her hair. She used to have perfume bottles. Perfume bottles there. Well, she still comes here or it's just a playback? No, it's just a playback, what I can see. She used to have big Victorian bed. See it in the mirror. Well, you can see our bedroom as it was. Mm. Marie, you picking up anything? Well, I stuck my head in there about a woman. Um, but I just backed away. It was pretty much what Janice said, that she was pushing you out. She didn't seem particularly unfriendly or unkind. She just didn't really want me to go any further so I only stuck my head in the door. That's her bedroom then? Yeah. Just wondering whether or not she'd talk to us. Jan, do you want to call out and see whether or not she'd talk to us about that? Does anybody here? Can you make yourself known? Can you touch somebody? Can you make a noise? <laughs> you alright? Yeah, don't make me jump here. Just about saying, can you touch somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. You bomb. really jumped there. Oh, well, yeah, it was right beyond my head. <laughs> <laughs> if that was you, thank you. I'm away from these beads because I think it might just have been uh, tangled around me. We mean you no harm. Can you come scare one of us again? Can you move those beads again, please? Can you feel the floor moving? I can. I've had it since I got in here. Mm. I felt like the thing, but I've, what I've been picking up is someone 
quite I'm young. No, I can feel, I can feel it as if it's moving. I keep feeling like I'm being rocked backwards and forwards. As I say, you're swaying, but yeah, keep maybe feeling. where you're concentrating, you might try and keep your feet still. So when I first came in here, that window behind the rain, somebody went like that when I came in. And then when I went into the next room, they did it on that window as well. But I thought it might have been the floor, but people were moving around and it's still not. No, it's been no. But that was a definite, like, tap. Did you hear that? No, it's the floor. Is that the floor? Did you hear? <gasps> Between us two. <laughs> I just went absolutely cold. <laughs> just as soon as she said that, somebody went. <laughs> Between us two. That was a little bit terrifying. <laughs> Is that a... you recording? Yeah. I've got been picked up got, on that. You've got spike there for No, it's only because I've just turned it on. Oh, uh, okay. Picking up one. I don't know, it's just a really weird... I don't know. Energy. Like, a lot of people. There's somebody in this field running around, but I can't pinpoint. Well, you can't tell if it's male, female, young, or old. Just it's something. I think it's male. Male, not young. He's, he's kind of middle aged, I suppose. I was drawn over it just now, but I come over, I couldn't pinpoint, but I'm drawn back down here. So he's run down here somewhere. Can't find him anymore. He's gone. Well, that could be your soldiers connected to this. Yeah, I suppose it could be. Yeah, What are you, Steve? Are you feeling in this field? I don't know, yet. Can you feel any energies around you? No, it's just a mixture. It's just a mixture. Probably off of these things. How much work it smells, mate? <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where this guy's run down to, and I think he's, he stays around inside there. There was an entrance near somewhere. And for a while the guy's still around here, he's using that as his little guard post for the entrance to bring things in. He wants to bring the trucks in for that way somewhere. John, have you been this side? Over there. I've just seen the guy running around there, the guy in uniform. No, I still sort of think there was there was something definitely here. Unless there was something around this here. this area with us where the, when the soldiers were around here. Because oh. the guy that I got drawn from over here, he, when I came into the field, he ran down this way. When I come down, it looked like he'd gone to the trees and ran around the back. And I just think he's run straight back into there. No. Unless they had tents or whatever around here. Mm. Could, yeah, I've got tents back up there, this film, I think. Mm. No, I just still got a lot of tents here. What kind of tents they like? Are they like teepee tents or um, no, just, just long tents? Uh, just long tents, as you would do if you, were, if you were an army camping out somewhere. Just lots of them. Made of what material? Canvas. Canvas, yeah. It might be white canvas or green canvas. I'm getting white, so... Yeah, but I still think the entrance for him to come in was down here. And this is what this is here for. There was a tent down or something down here, a cabin of some sort, that was the guard from coming in. And the entrance was over there by the tree, you're I saying? Think the entrance was here somewhere. What's the 
Mm. Yeah, so I just feel like it's somewhere around here. And the idea of the guy coming down here is, is this is a guy that checks everybody and checks everybody out. Security type. This is like a, yeah, he's, he's the gate guy. Yeah. Like the, uh, the M MP, MP, military police or something. How are things over here? Um, we had two soldiers over in the carriages. There's a guy called James, like it's just, um, when I was walking up through, couldn't breathe. He's told me that he went to the hospital in Ventnor. He had tuberculosis. I couldn't breathe. Then me and Dave's come up here with Karen and Dave's put his beam on. We actually had someone walk break, and I mean break, like as in a person, from the left coming over to the right and like sort of disappear in the middle. Okay, you, you can't. And then I asked them to come back and they sort of came back into like, I don't know, not that far into the, the side part. We were getting soldiers in the next field as well. There's also a, a, a gun in there. Big field gun. Come and bang on something. I know it takes a lot of energy, but use ours. See if you can scare all of us. But then you've got two guys over in the carriage, stuck stood between the, the one the carriage you can see here and the next one. They're stood in between that gap, just watching. What's still? They've all got white tops with their braces and green trousers with their boots. And the, are they still watching? Yeah, they're still there. I don't know. Whereabouts here? We're on point in the torch? No, right over. You can see the carriages near the trees. One at the far distance. Yeah, you've got the first set of <coughs> carriages, then there's a gap, mm. then you've got the second one. They're in between the two. Just stood there watching. What, by the two white bags? No, yeah, okay. over over near the trees. Oh, okay. Yeah, on, I can on the far yeah, track. Far oh, right. You've got the and first far. set of carriages, then mm. a break, and then the next lot of carriages. They're stood between the two carriages. They're in their 40s, 50s. But James is 20, 25, 26, very young. It's kind of like they've come out to tell him to go back into the tree line and not come over this side and talk to somebody. But because he can't get his breath out, he's, he's really like raspy and the only way he can make himself known here is to put that condition on you. So I feel like someone's actually crushing my chest. My fat, not just going past all these little bits here, I just, I couldn't breathe. I was coughing and wheezing and... Well, this is him doing this to you. <coughs> Watch out, big fat off there. He's doing this to Take you. Take it off, yeah. walking with you now or you're just feeling the energies from no, past? Just, it's the only way he knows it. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Had to make himself go. <coughs> Does it stop in a minute? Josh will take it off. Joshua, yeah, take it off. Turn it back off. Can you light the lights or something? Something just physical to show us.
Yeah. Sure? Yeah. What was all that about then? He let out quite a, a kind of groan then. Oh yeah, he was trying to get in. He was trying to take you over? No, I just put that in. All done? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Thank you. Grab it. <laughs> so I didn't need the eyes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Better here, there's nice little energies here. Mm, yeah, nice. It doesn't go past there for some reason. It just gets eh? stuck there. He just got stuck there. Yeah. Well, it's bound to the location. Hmm. Like don't want to come this far. Give me like a couple of minutes to get. Hey? I said you're gonna have to give me a couple of minutes, alright. I'll be crushing it inside my head. <coughs> Roger, did you see any of this then that they were picking up earlier? With this soldier that was running around? So it's tricky because they say there's certainly mist where the mist is coming in. So how do you distinguish between nature and well, super. Mm -hmm. I'll keep on hearing things metallic just over that way now in this field. But I know it's not being used today, so why is it? You can't mm. be cooling down because it's not being used. Seems to be a lot of uh, stories tonight though about World War Two soldiers, isn't there? Mm. In this part where we are, yeah. next to the railway. What are you getting over here? We've, um, we've got a young lad, Jack, who uh, we're just trying to coax out. He's the lad that wanted the cigarette earlier. Okay. And uh, so we've got a cigarette rolled waiting for him. The red light's come back on again. He stood right between us. Yeah. He's, he stood right here. But he's communicating quite openly. Okay. He's, um, I reckon he's about 22, 23. Army fatigues, white t-shirt, same era as everybody else is picking up in. He's fit, he's healthy, but we don't think he went to war. And we're trying to work out why he didn't go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see if he can manipulate that. Oh wow. Jack, you've got all them lights. So what's this one do, Paul? Yeah, uh, it's temperature change and also uh, it's a spirit box, so if he wants to talk through it, find words. What's your girlfriend's name? Is that Sam? Sam. Sam. You chatting to me, boys? Yep. Yep. Is she around? Is she a blonde bombshell? Are you talking to Sam or is your girlfriend Sam? Paul. Yeah, I heard that. Yep, I'm Paul. Can you give us the name of someone else that's around us? Yeah. It's almost like this was a manning station, like a, a gatehouse or something, and he was put to stand here, and that's why he wasn't allowed to smoke. 
It's like he was signing people in and out of the field. And it was punishment for him standing there. That ties in with what John was saying earlier. Right. Just said right. 